General Motors took the occasion of Flint's 2010 Back to the Bridge Classic Car Celebration to showcase recent innovation and announce this year's GM Foundation Flint Area Charity Appropriation. GM Foundation 2010 Donations to Flint Area Nonprofit Organizations. $75,000 equates to the hiring of approximately 2.14 new GM hires, earning approximately $14 per hour. All right, we're going to do a group chat in front of the vehicles with all the reps from the charities, the plant managers, union reps that are here. Please come on up to the vehicle. We're going to do a group photo shot. Tom will have the press release for the media. Thank you all for coming and enjoy this beautiful day and event in this wonderful city. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know. GM Plant Communications Manager Tom Wick had a few clarifying questions. How were the funding levels determined? Well, we looked at uh, a number of the criteria. One of the things is we United Way, we're going to start off with the campaign, the countywide campaign in the end of September, and uh, we wanted to have a larger share go to them sort of as uh, seed money, a starter for the GM portion of the campaign. The overall goal for United Way this year is $3 million. And then for the others, I mean, we looked at, I mean, it was not uh, a lot of different criteria, but we decided, you know, we were looking five, ten thousand dollars uh, $10,000 for different organizations. So it was, you know, a fair amount of debate about, you know, what we felt would work. And uh, for like Food Bank or for Clio, uh, the larger uh, contributions will have a greater impact right away because of uh, the immediate need. Many of the needs these charities are address arose as a result of GM leaving Flint. Is that something GM thinks about? Well, you know, it's actually, that's a very accurate uh, statement from the standpoint that when you have any type of industry uh, or employer uh, leave over a period of time, you know, be it 10, 15, 20, 30 years, there will be an impact. There are going to be people impacted, uh, whether they're employed by the company or their family members or others who are impacted by that uh, uh, exodus of jobs. And I mean, you know, we can't uh, hide from that fact. I mean, that uh, is one of the reasons why I think it's important for us to give back to the community and uh, also continue to grow what we have here. 6,000 employees, yes, that pales in comparison to what we used to have, more than 80,000 at one time. But I think what we have now is a very strong core that we can build on. Great product, great people, it's a great community, and I think going forward, you're going to see more of the, uh, the generosity, not just the foundation, but take a look at what the employees do. They give hundreds of thousands of dollars every year of their own money, and uh, nobody has to ask them, you know, to do that. They give freely. To second few new hires, making $14 per hour, give as much as their co-workers, making twice as much. You know, we don't look at, uh, you know, their income level and how much they give. Uh, it's interesting, you know, people will go by, if we do a plant collection, we'll have a jar and somebody will throw a five in or a 20. Uh, we'll do a popcorn sale or uh, have ice cream and something cold during the, uh, the summer months. And, uh, you know, the people just, you know, they just feel like, okay, this is important. I'm going to give to it. We did something with cell phones for soldiers not too long ago. $2,000 collected by the employees, 200 phones. And, you know, they did it because it's a worthy cause. Has GM given any thought to becoming a platinum sponsor of Back to the Bridge? Well, it's funny that you mentioned that. Um, I have been in discussions with uh, Jerry Preston, and uh, one of the things I'm looking at in my budget for next year is how GM can become a sponsor down here. I mean, we have our products down here all the time, you know, be they 100 years old, 50 years old, or some of the current product, such as the Volt today. So uh, that is in my plans to uh, have some level of funding for next year and a uh, bigger GM presence.